it is about 41 million people, which is about 0.5% of the world's population, which is very, very less. Now, just in comparison, the population of Tokyo alone is 39 million people. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the Nerdy Geographer, back with another very unique video. So in my previous video, it was all about maps. And in particular, I talked about the true size of countries uh, that appear on the world map. And I'll include that link in the description if you guys haven't checked. And if you guys are new to the channel, uh, please subscribe, like, share and comment and help the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so you guys must be wondering why I have a weird map in front of me on the screen. Now, this is because uh, what I'm going to talk about today is the population map of the world. Uh, as you can see, I have two different you know, pictures in front of the screen. One is the African continent and one is and what appears to be an inflated picture of India on the map. Uh, There's a very cool website which is called the visualcapitalist.com. Uh, I'll include that link in the description as well for you guys to check. What they did was they created a world population map back in 2018. Each square or pixel on the map represents about half a million people or 500,000 people. So they mentioned that there are 15,266 squares on this map which uh, show the entire world's population of about 7 7.7 billion people. Of course, the biggest continent in the world in terms of population and land area, which is Asia. Now, how big is Asia really? We talked about the size of Asia in the previous video. Now, in terms of population, yes, Asia is a giant. Now, uh, if you guys see here, Asia has a population of 4.5 billion people, which is 60% of the world's population. If you guys are wondering, 4.5 billion is a lot of people. And there are just two countries which usually constitute the, the figure. One is China, of course, the biggest in the world in terms of population with 1.4 billion people or 18.5% of the world's population. And the second, of course, is India, which is the second biggest in terms of population with 1.35 billion or 17.7% of the world's population. So because of this, as you guys can see, the maps are inflated because China and India obviously have a lot of pixels or squares because they have huge population. And what's also interesting here is Mongolia is very, very tiny on this particular map with just 3.1 million people. Now, Mongolia, the true size of Mongolia is actually pretty big, but on this map, it's pretty small. Um, so is Russia. In fact, if you guys look at the map, this is the population of Bangladesh, by the way, which is 166.4 million people. That's a lot of people. And when we go to Russia here, it's about 144 million people. Now, that's, that's, that's pretty crazy when we actually uh, try to think about it. And another big country in terms of population within Asia is Indonesia, which is about... 266.8 million that that is a lot of people and the majority is on one island of java which is 145 million people living on the island which makes it the world's most populous island that is about asia remember 60 percent of the world's population live in asia so i'll quickly move on to africa now now this is a very interesting map uh, when we look at africa of course geographically speaking it's a very big continent of course now in terms of population one country in africa dominates the population that is Nigeria which has a population of 196 million people that is absolutely crazy Nigeria will also have the biggest city in the world in the next 25 to 50 years so it's one of the biggest growing cities uh, or biggest growing countries in uh, the African continent with 196 million people and the next one is Ethiopia Ethiopia doesn't seem very big uh, when you look at the African map in fact it is it has a population of 107.5 million people People, which is which is crazy and Ethiopia is also the largest landlocked country in the world it shows that the population of India is actually more than the population of the entire African continent so you can imagine how many people actually live in India the population of Africa by the way is 1.28 billion which is about 17% of the world's population. Now we'll move to the Western uh, part of the world, uh, North and South America combined. Now, North America, along with the Caribbean and the Central American region has a population of about 587 million. That's about 7.7% of the world's population. And South America has a little less when compared to North with about 428 million or 5.6% of the world's population. Now what's interesting about this map of South America is, if you guys can see, the population of Brazil 
really dominates the South American map. Brazil has a population of 211 million people, which is more than half of the entire South American population. Both the Americas, North and South, I think there are close to, if my calculations are correct, close to 1.01 billion people living on both the continents. And what is amazing about this map is it just shows Canada as a line and just a few squares. Because Canada, despite being a massive country, uh, area-wise, population-wise, it's very, very small. Uh, it just has about 37 million people when compared to US, which is about 327 million people and increasing. Europe has a population of about 711 million, which is more than the population of North America and which makes about almost 10% of the world's population. Now, if you look at the population map of Europe, Germany, France and Russia, of course, dominate the uh, map of Europe. Population of the United Kingdom, by the way, is 67 million people. And Turkey, uh, not to not forget Turkey, it's, it's a massive country, 80, 82 million population. Now, the last part of the world that I want to talk about is Oceania, which includes Australia, New Zealand, and all the Pacific Islands. Now, this is the smallest in terms of geography as well as area. Uh, in terms of population-wise, it is about 41 million people, which is about 0.5% of the world's population, which is very, very less. Now, just in comparison, uh, the population of Tokyo alone is 39 million people. So, uh, as you guys can you know, compare, the population of Oceania is almost compared to the population of Tokyo City or the Tokyo metropolitan area, which is absolutely insane. So that's that's about this very unique, very interesting world map. Hope you guys have learned something. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. And I'll include the link in the description. And if you guys are have stayed till the end, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.